video we're going to be doing our October favorites with you guys and it's been quite a while since we've done a favorites. It's been a minute. So we're excited to be sharing some new goodies with you guys because we've been using these non-stop. We've used these for the past probably like two months like over and over like I haven't switched them out for like different things. Yeah. So we can truly tell you we're obsessed with these products. Don't know how long this is going to be. We're going to hop right into it and yeah let's get started. Okay, so starting with makeup, when I have been wearing it, I've been loving these two products. So for foundation, Kelsey and I discovered this foundation in store. This is the NARS Soft Matte Complete Foundation. So it's been a while since I found a matte foundation that I really like. Because some of them can look kind of cakey, they yeah, feel dry, dry on the skin. Mm -hmm. But this one is perfect. I love how liquidy and watery the formulation is. Yeah, because most matte foundations are a little thicker. Yeah, thicker. Mm -hmm. This is full coverage. So if you guys are wondering the coverage, it's full coverage. Mm -hmm. I love the coverage. And I love how it feels on the skin because when it comes to foundation for me, it's all about the feel. Like if it don't feel right on my skin, like mm -hmm. I'm gonna wanna like immediately take it off. Yeah. And even though I'm not like obsessed with wearing makeup, cause of course I like the look of it. I like to look glam. I don't like the feeling of makeup. So it has to be very comfortable on my skin. And I love the way this feels on my skin. So we're in the color Marquise Medium Deep 5. I'm wearing it today. Who am I? Yes, we're both wearing it. And I feel like NARS foundations, we've discovered some that we've liked throughout the years, but I'm not gonna lie. Some of them are a hit or miss like in the past. Yeah. Like I can't try none of the glowy ones that everybody like. Get too oily for that. Um, I've only ever liked like a satin finish or a matte finish. Yeah. So I love this foundation. So if you guys have oily skin like us, give this a try. They have a great color selection. I can't stop using this. I haven't used any other foundation since using this and it's bomb. So for concealer, I've been loving this Hourglass Concealer and I heard good things about it, so I wanted to try it. This is the Hourglass Concealer. What is this called? So this is the Hourglass Vanish Airbrush Concealer and it has the perfect name because it gives the perfect airbrush look. I typically only use concealer under my eyes and like in my T-zone area, not my chin, just in this vicinity, you know? So I love love the finish of this it's very like satiny has like a nice like seamless finish under the eyes doesn't look like cakey or it doesn't get caught like in your like fine lines because i don't like those kind of concealers that feel too goopy and like thick i like the coverage of those kind of concealers but, but i don't like the now yeah i don't like the thickness because of like you said the blending is a hot mess mm -hmm. so this blends out seamlessly you can leave it on your skin and it still has like that wetness because I do like full coverage kind of concealers, but some of them dry kind of fast. Yes. And it kind of leaves like, like it's like stuck to your skin and you can't blend it smoothly. It's like a line. Yeah. Like you can't blend it into the foundation. Right. Though. It don't feel like seamless. Mm -hmm. And this has like a nice seamless blend. So the color that I have here is maple. So I feel like this is the perfect like under eye shade for me. It has a nice balance with the foundation shade that I have here. And I like that it's obviously not too light and I don't want to do too dark of a concealer because it's for my under eyes, you know, and I'm trying to have like that brighter, more awake look. So I've been loving this. The only thing I don't like about it is the smell. It kind of smells like paint. Yeah, I don't like the smell either. Like when I put it under my eyes, it's very potent. I brought that to your attention when we were on vacation. Yes. I was like, this doesn't smell like paint to you? Yeah. Yeah, I kept smelling it. Uh -huh. I'm like, it's kind of strong, mm -hmm. but it's But after concealer. you blend it out, it goes away. Yeah, the smell goes away. Mm -hmm. So that's the only thing I don't like. But other than that, mm -hmm. this is bomb. You guys need it. And I actually think all skin types can use this. So mm -hmm. if you have dry combination oily everybody will love this yeah okay so since we're on the topic of makeup i have two palettes to share with you guys they're both from ColourPop. i've been using them for like the past like month and a half probably a little bit longer so i guess i'll start with this one first this is a cheek palette from ColourPop, and this is the such a rush cheek palette y'all i have not used blush in years i used to really love blush mm -hmm. probably like three years ago and i just Five. stopped using it <laughs> for me and i just stopped using it but Ever since I got this palette in the mail, I was just like, I guess I'll try these out. And this particular one is perfect for darker skin tones. Most of the time, like blushes are a little bit too light. They look a little too ashy. Mm -hmm. You look kind of like casket 
ready -y. Mm -hmm. I don't like that look. Yeah. It's not cute. But this, the colors are perfect in here. So I like to mix these two right here at the top. So I'll just take a brush and mix the two and then put it on like the pillows of my cheeks. It's like a pretty like rosy. Yeah, it's like kind of rosy. It's very subtle. After I do my blush with my brush, I'll take my beauty blender and then blend it out a little bit so it's not like too clown looking. Mm -hmm. Cause I don't like the look of too much blush. Right, so 80s. Yeah, I don't really like that look. I like a like seamless look into my bronzer. So right. I've been loving the look of the blush mixed in with the bronzer. So I like okay. to mix it in together. Mm -hmm. So these colors mix really nicely with whatever bronzer you're using. The two blush shades are Ride High and Full Trouble. So Obsessed. The other color is a bronzer, but it's not dark enough for me. The bronzer that I like to use is way darker than this. It's in the KKW contour palette. That's the bronzer I always use because it's like dark enough for me. Um, so this bronzer is a little too light in my opinion, but the blushes are amazing. The highlighter I'm obsessed with, as you can see, I've been digging all up in there. I like to use it um, on the inner tear ducts. So I don't even use it on my face. I like to like highlight my eyes with it. Mm -hmm. So this is a really good palette to travel with as well because it's so small. Um, I love a good flat, small palette to travel with because uh, I don't like traveling with too much makeup. I just like everything yeah. to be nice and minimal, downsized. Yeah, me too. Um, so that's why I've been obsessed with this palette. So I hope they come out with these two blushes in singles because when this palette runs out, I'm probably going to just keep buying them because I love how the blush looks on me. Mm -hmm. And then the other palette that I want to share with you guys is a eyeshadow quad and this is the Down to Earth eyeshadow quad. Okay, and name. Yeah, I like it too. Mm -hmm. And these colors are so amazing. They scream fall, like they go with our background, like so pretty. Mm -hmm. So obsessed. I've been using this color the most, so I'll just take like a blending brush and put it all over my lid and in my crease. So this is a good color right here to use like over the whole eye. And then the black I've been using to do eyeliner, so this is not even liquid eyeliner, this is eyeshadow with an angle brush. Really? Yes. Oh, that's a dark. It's eyeshadow. very, very black. Very opaque. Very opaque. Like if you're super picky wow. about black eyeshadows and that some of them are too gray to you, they're not like true black. Mm -hmm. This one is. It's amazing. So like I said, I have on no eyeliner. This is strictly this black over here. My bad, y'all. Our thing is the opposite, so I'd be confusing myself. <laughs> um, so yeah, the black is a true black. I'm obsessed. And like I said, just take a really nice dense angled brush and you can use it to do your eyeliner. So if you have trouble doing liquid eyeliner, then just start out with a brush and an eyeshadow. Even though I feel like this is already just giving a regular eyeliner it vibes. It really is. I would have never guessed that really? was eyeshadow. This was, I've been doing this for like the past like two months. I thought that was eyeliner. I haven't picked up eyeliner in months. I just been using this. Also this uh, other color right here next to the one that I've been using, this is also a really good crease color. So this is also a bomb palette to travel with as well because all the colors that you need are in here. And like I said, I just used the highlighter for my inner tear duct right there and you're good to go. So been obsessed with these two and they're super inexpensive. I think this is like $9 and then the cheek palette is 12. So super inexpensive too. Okay, so next is a lip product that I've been absolutely obsessed with and I refuse Same. to use any other lip balm. Like the ones I have now, I will use them up. But you won't repurchase but them. But I won't repurchase because this is this is bae. Mm -hmm. We're committed, we're getting married. <laughs> this is like soulmate status. Yes. Okay. So Lana Lips, y'all, it's the business. Obsessed. When I tell y'all this is the best lip balm I've ever tried, I travel with this have it on my lips on the plane, last it, last when you're eating, mm -hmm. when you're drinking, it don't move. It's honestly like the perfect balance of like the bomb.com from Glossier mixed with the Agave lip balm. Yes. Because the bomb.com to me is not thick enough. It goes away no, too fast. It's not thick enough. And then the Agave lip balm is super, super tacky Real for thick. sleep. And this is like perfect, the perfect in between. For throughout the day. Throughout the day. Even though I've been sleeping with this on too. It's for all times of the day. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So my favorite one, I have all of them, I think, except the strawberry. And this is my favorite one. This is the Bomb Coconutter. So this is the coconut one. Mm -hmm. It has a really nice buttery scent to it. I really like it. And these are supposed to be multi-purpose ointments. Yeah, so they you can use them like on your knuckles, on your elbows. elbows. Yeah, it says one-on-one ointment. But these are amazing for your lips. So I have one in my car, one in the living room, and one in my bedroom. <laughs> and I'll make another one in my bathroom, probably. I brought all of mine out, except my peach one. I have a peach one that's in my purse. Mm -hmm. peach one's good. I'm obsessed with that one. That one, the, the scent to me is the strongest out of all of them. Um, so if you don't like scents that are too strong, you probably won't like the peach one, but I'm obsessed with it. That's actually the first one I ever tried was the peach one, Kendra. 
basically put me onto these and I've been obsessed ever since because I have been having like issues with my lips for like the past year. They've been extra dry, crack a little bit here and there. And I noticed it was because I was using those fresh lip butters. Like the uh, fresh like ones? Little pot. The little pots, yeah, like they had some, like the watermelon, the they peach. They have uh, too many scents. Caramel. And they feel so amazing on. When you first put when, it on. Yes, when you first put it on, they feel amazing. But after like a while, like when it wasn't on my lips, I would notice I would be cracking on the sides. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, why are my lips like, like they not peeling so that? much? My yeah. lips were peeling a lot. Peeling? Yes, like on the side. And it's one of those annoying products that make you think you should keep using it. You need more like chapstick. Yes, it's a trick. It's a trick. Mm -hmm. But it's not curing anything. Right. I like things that fix a problem, not create another problem. Right. But these honestly have cured my dry lips. Like mm -hmm. I have not had any peeling, any cracking since I started using these. Mm -hmm. So thank you so You're much welcome. for putting me onto these. I found these on Amazon. Yes, they're on Amazon. I don't even think they're in the state. I think it's a UK yeah, brand. Yeah, it's like a UK brand. Yes, and the other two, flavors yes it have. says made in the uk yeah i was gonna say i have never seen this in target because i would have probably picked it up um so the other two flavors that i have are strawberry and watermelon and i'm obsessed with both um but so far i think the watermelon and the peach are my two favorites okay so i use those the most um so i'm just obsessed i also like the mint one. Oh, i haven't tried I the have mint, mint one. one in my car is it like cooling slightly but it's not super intense like not really no it don't feel like that uh, okay but yeah, I don't think I'll ever use another lip balm like Kimber I'm said. I'm gonna just stick with this. Like even like the Laneige lip mask, like that's really good those too. Those two hyped up too. I, but I used to really like the vanilla one. They're a little overrated. Those don't last long enough for me. I need consistency. Yeah, and it's crazy need, that you like love something until you find something better to compare it to. Mm -hmm. Because I really used to like the Laneige lip mask, but mm -hmm. this works way better and yes. it's way cheaper. You don't know what you don't know. <laughs> <laughs> until you know it. So the back of this says a little tube of magic for extremely dry lips, skin, patches, cuticles, elbows, and more. This is amazing and it is a tube of magic. So go yes. get your magic in the description box. So while we're still on the face area, I guess I'll go ahead and talk about something skincare related. Now these are kind of random. These are pimple stickers and I actually used to use some that were like clear. It was from the brand called NYX something. I forgot, whatever, don't matter, they didn't work. Okay. These, however, do. This is from the brand Squish. I think that's how you say it? Squish? S Squish. Yeah, um, these, they're this cute little flower stickers and it says 20 flower power acne patches, non-irritating and drug-free, protects blemishes and promotes faster healing. So this says they're drug-free, but I feel like there's something in the stickers Think so? That help heal the pimples Cause faster. Cause I thought they were just to prevent you from picking like your skin, like when you have a breakout. They're for that too, but they also have something in the sticker because every time I put one on a pimple, the next morning it's flat. Really? Yes. Now these do not work for cystic acne. So if you've had cystic- So it has to be like already like Yeah, raised. Raised. So up. like if you see like a white head or like something, that's what these are for. So it has to be a pimple that you want to pop, but you do not need to pop it. Please don't. Put one of these on there and I promise you the next morning, girl, it's gonna be gone. Like I was so shocked because some stuff so it like was this- like flat or like significantly flat. Yes, I was very surprised because like some stuff like this, I think is kind of gimmicky and I'm like, it don't work. Because I had a few white heads on my chin that were raised from like me doing my mask and stuff. Um, and I put the pimple patches on there and then the next morning they were completely flat. And then I had a few cystic ones on the side that I get that are kind of annoying. And I would like put like my Mandelic Acid Serum on them like a couple of nights. And when they finally raised, that's when I put one of these on there and they are actually flat now. They look like a sore now, kind of like, like a scab that peeled off. Mm -hmm. That's what they look like after I take the sticker off. But I like these because they don't ruin your skin. It's not like ripping off a band-aid or anything. Mm -hmm. They're super gentle. Are those like nose, like poor things that, that these, are so bad for your these skin? These are not that. No. So they're very gentle and non-irritating like it says, non-irritating. Mm -hmm. So when I peel these off, it's like magic because you would think that it's in the sticker because I looked at the sticker and I still didn't see nothing. Yeah. So I don't know where the nastiness goes, but these are magical. Oh. They're amazing. Okay, so moving on to some body care that I've been enjoying. So these two products I've been loving together. So I mentioned this lotion quite a few times on our channel on most of our recent body care videos. This is the Aveeno Skin Relief Moisturizing Lotion and I've been combining it with the Aveeno Daily Moisturizing Oil Mist 
oat oil plus jojoba oil. So this, with this, has been bomb. I've been loving combining body lotion with body oil because this lotion by itself for me is really moisturizing, but I feel like it was missing something. And I feel like this oil gave it what it needed, you know? So this has jojoba oil and it's paraben free. This has a scent to it, but it's very, very light. It doesn't smell like super like sugary or sweet, but it has like a nice light scent to it. I, I can't really describe it, but it's very nice. And I love how thin this is, but my skin still feels super nourished. Some like dry oils are just that, like they just feel like they don't do enough. They sit on top of the skin, they don't penetrate. Yeah, and this yeah. feels very nourishing. So I really yeah. love this. It has like a really nice mist that comes out. It says oil mist. So these together have been bomb. So if you guys are looking for a new body oil or if you've tried a lot of body oils that you don't really like, this is a really good one. Do they have it in like a regular pump? Because I hate spray oils. Because my, my bathroom so. floor becomes a slip and slide. Gotcha, gotcha. Very dangerous. Um, be like real careful with where, where I spray and I have a towel down. Oh, okay. On the floor. Got it. So I love these together. Yeah, I can smell it now. It smells like my nighttime routine. Anyway, uh, so I like to do these right out of the shower and I've been obsessed. So if you guys are looking for some body care that is fragrance free, this lotion is fragrance free and I don't think this oil is, but it barely has a scent. Yeah, I don't see any kind of perfume or fragrance in the ingredients, so no. It has soybean, jojoba, uh, sativa, oat. It says fragrance, but it's at the very bottom. It, it's a very tiny amount. So I love these together. So if you guys are looking for some new Aveeno body care, those two, bomb. And the next body product that I've been loving, I bought this like during the summer, but I started using this one and I had the apricot one. Both of them are bomb, but I feel like this one is perfect for like this time of year. So this is the Josie Marin Whipped Argan Ultra Hydrating Body Butter in the Pure Vanilla Bean Scent. So I like the Vanilla Apricot one. That one is bomb for like spring and summer. I love that one. That one smells amazing. Mm -hmm. It's like a really nice light apricot vanilla scent. And this- kind of smells like a really good air freshener. I think so too. Every time <laughs> I would put it on, she told me I smell like Glade. Like a Glade <laughs> plug-in. I like a plug-in, yeah. It was really, really nice. Love that one. But I love this one for like this season. It's the perfect light, warm vanilla scent. Because sometimes vanilla can go a little heavy. And this yeah. is the lightest, most delicious whipped vanilla, like creamy kind of scent. It smells like whipped cream that's literally what it smells like you it does smell smells like whipped cream it smells like whipped cream kind of right? making me hungry a little bit it doesn't it's have really like nice. that synthetic like sugary like vanilla smell that gives me a headache i hate that kind of you vanilla. know i actually don't really like vanilla like yeah that. you don't i have i like you know but i'm vanilla. picky with my vanilla yeah and this one is bomb it's not too heavy but it's like a nice light vanilla scent mm -hmm. And she'd be saying she don't like stuff until I wear it. And then you'd be like, oh, you smell good. I'm like, I thought you said you didn't like that. That's because you have good taste in products. I'd be thinking about the cheap version of stuff. Okay, so a perfect example. I'm not going to lie. I've never been a fan of warm vanilla sugar at Bath & Body Works. Not my thing. Don't like it. No. This, however, has a very nice, tasteful vanilla scent. It don't smell cheap. That's what I'm trying to say. This is bomb. So if you're looking for a nice vanilla body product, this is bomb. The formula of this is magical. You can see the sheen on your body. Like when I tell you, you have a nice glow mm -hmm. with this, even though this is the cheapest body butter. Yeah, it's gonna lie, it's kind of pricey. But it's so, so worth it. Like the sale is coming up for Sephora, so get your hands on this. I promise you, you're gonna love it. If you're a body butter girl, amazing. Okay, next I have some hair products to mention to you guys. You guys actually already seen me use these in my most recent straight hair routine, my updated straight hair routine. I showed you guys everything and that video was not easy to film so i hope you watched it it's the audible beauty blue tansy line products i'm obsessed with these this is the shampoo and the conditioner so the reason i like these so much is because for the longest time i would not switch out my straight hair products you guys know i used joyco for years redken for years mm -hmm. paul mitchell for years like those were the only straight hair products that I would use when I knew yeah. I was gonna, gonna straighten my hair because I'm super picky when it comes to, well, all hair products, but especially when I'm gonna blow my hair out and flat iron it mm -hmm. because so many products weigh my hair down and make it feel greasy, mm -hmm. like even a shampoo and conditioner. So That's I feel true. like the perfect blowout starts at the sink or in the shower yes. with your shampoo, conditioner, and deep conditioner. And people always forget that and think they can use whatever and wonder why their hair coming out stiff. We don't want that. So I was super, super happy with these. Um, the Blue Tansy line I thought was very interesting because I have a Blue Tansy face oil. Yeah, and I had never heard of it in like 
hair products. products. I've heard it in skin care. Skincare. Care. Yeah. And I'm like, if it's good enough for your skin, it's good enough for your scalp. That makes technically scalp is skin. skin. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. So I was like, that's so interesting. They're super, super lightweight. They don't weigh my hair down, which I mentioned. Yeah. That's super important to me. <laughs> I love that they're for color treated hair too, because like having just like that or hair, mm -hmm. you don't want to like wash it right back out, you know? And I use this to wash out my color and my color was still you know plucking mm -hmm. in the video y'all yes. saw it so this is great for color treated hair great for damaged hair and just great for hair that you want to maintain and then the next my product favorite is the hair mask yeah i was gonna say this hair mask y'all it's the truth it y'all know we're super super picky when it comes to hair masks mm -hmm. some of them just sit on top of the hair and then some of them are game changers this is a game changer um so this is the audra beauty blue tansy reparative mask so this says it strengthens and repairs for color treated and damaged hair. I'm obsessed. I like how thick this mask is. That's my favorite part. It's super thick. I like a thick hair mask. Yes, yeah, it's real thicky thick, like Meg, Meg the Stallion thick. I just always compare her cause she's like, her body's perfect. The body? The body. Mm -hmm. It says strength on repeat. I love that it says this. Mm -hmm. So this mask is great if you wear your hair curly or straight, or if you just yeah. trying to like, do like a protective style. It's for whatever it's you're doing. It's good for heat styling too, I think, when you know you're about to heat style. Yeah, it has heat protecting in it actually. Oh. Yes, so this is really good when you know you're about to heat style, like Kendra said. So this is great for your straight hair routine because yeah. you're involving a lot of heat. And it's not greasy for it to be thick because some thick masks are a little bit heavy. Like when you rinse them out, you can feel like kind of like a residue or it's a little bit oily. Mm -hmm. This does not do that. Like I would alternate time. it with like a moisture mask though. Yes. Because this is like super like strengthening. strengthening. Mm -hmm. So if you like alternate deep conditioners, like this could be like your go-to like strengthening hair mask mm -hmm. and then go, go in with like a moisturizing mm -hmm. hair mask next time. And yeah. like go back and forth. Yeah. And then the last product is this hair serum. It's amazing. This is the Blue Tansy Treatment Serum. So this also has heat protecting in it. And you guys saw me put this in my blow dry hair and a lot of y'all was like, oh my gosh, you're not using the Kimmer Blow Dry Spray. Oh geez, no. I wanted to skip it just because I didn't want to have too many steps because I knew I was using this and I didn't want to use this and my, you know, my spray because y'all don't overdo it when it comes to products like before flat ironing your hair because i'm sure. telling you it will weigh your hair down less is more less is more definitely mm -hmm. so i just use maybe like two or three pumps of this and i put it on each side all throughout my hair and my hair came out beautifully this is the exact same blowout still kicking still you know hanging in there um but i like this because it's not oily and also i've been putting it on my ends like before i wrap my hair as well to keep my ends nice and healthy because you guys know I just gave myself a really good trim. So this is an excellent serum to use f before you flat iron and it's a really good serum to use like throughout the week just to keep your hair nice and shiny and healthy as well. So mm -hmm. obsessed. This is also silicone free if you don't really like using silicones on your hair. Yeah. This is bomb. By the way, can we talk about this packaging? I love the bottle. Sorry. It looks like a perfume bottle, like the actual bottle. I was thinking that because I was like the see, Chanel. No, it looks just like the Ariana Grande perfume. Oh my gosh. Yes, it does. Yes, it's like a perfume bottle. It has a really cute pump. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Love the pump. Mm -hmm. And it has a very light, faint smell. It's not anything that's going to give you a headache. Not super intense. Yes. Last product I have is a perfume and one that I've used all the way up. As you can see, oh, you there's out. pretty much nothing in here. So, but I'm gonna get down to the very last drop because this was not cheap. So this is by Reto's Mojave or Mojave Ghost. I love this. So first of all, this is probably one of the best clean scents that I've ever purchased. It, it doesn't smell like straight up soap. It's not like an obvious clean smell. It's like the perfect like light powdery like soft clean. It's a very soft clean. Cause I remember, I see this perfume a lot like on Pinterest and stuff and I'm just like, what's so special about it? And why do I want a perfume with the name Ghost in it? But I, it kind of makes sense because it's like very like light and fluffy and airy. That's kind of like what I smell when I smell this scent. It's just like, it's like- Invisible. It's like invisible, but there, it kind of like smells like clean skin, but better. Mm. It's not like an obvious clean, if that makes sense. Like I like an understated clean cause like some clean scents smell like too much like straight up soap. Soap, Irish Spring. It's, this is not too obvious. It's like a feminine soft like clean. Mm -hmm. And I love like, the, it has slightly a powdery scent. So if you don't like powdery notes, then you won't like that. Okay, so the notes for this, the top one says amberette. The heart is magnolia, sandalwood, and violet. So it has like a soft note in it and I think it's the sandalwood. I like the sandalwood in this. And it also says it has cedarwood chantilly musk and crisp amber 
So this is really, really nice. That's probably with the powdery. Yeah, the powdery is coming from the, the amber. amber. Yeah. And I can also smell the cedar wood in this. So it has like a nice clean, like perfect. This is like the perfect everyday scent. It's not offensive mm -hmm. at work, but you can also wear it just throughout the day running errands. Like it's a very like everyday scent. Everyday like scent. Mm -hmm. It's just not for nighttime. Nighttime you break out your, you know, more sensual, warmer things. Yeah. A little stronger. A little stronger. Mm -hmm. I won't wear this at night. It's a little too light for me. But throughout the day, like for our everyday scent, mm -hmm. this is perfect. Yeah. Okay, guys. So that wraps up our October favorites. We hope you guys enjoyed it. We will have a full list of all the products we mentioned today, like always, for you guys to check out if you would like to try them out. By the way, if you tried any of these, let us know. We know October is not completely over, but we wanted to go ahead and get this video out for you guys because I was so excited to talk about these products. You guys know we don't always do favorites every month because we're very picky when it comes to products uh -huh. and very unimpressed. So if we're saying we like these products, then they work. So yeah, we hope you guys enjoyed this video and we'll see y'all next time.